Did you know that Bong Bong Marcos is an imposter? That he is in fact a clone? That's right. In the last will and testament of Ferdinand Marcos we read not only that he has a bank account worth an infinite amount of money but also that the real Bong Bong Marcos died in 1975 and was replaced by an imposter, Mr. Ferdinand Marcos e Santiago acclaimed Bong Bong Marcos which the original one was already died sometimes on year 1975. But this information is not only in Marcos last will and testament. The story of the current Bong Bong Marcos being a clone is an urban legend which has been around since the 70s. According to rumors, Bong Bong Marcos was already dead, and the person we can see sitting in the senate is only a clone of him. The legend spread in late 1970s and in early 1980s. If that is true then how did Bong Bong die? According to one story he accidentally killed a princess in the Middle East. One anonymous person on the internet claims their aunt and uncle confirmed this story. Well my uncle and aunt confirmed it was true but in a different story. They said that Bong Bong raped and accidentally killed a princess somewhere in the Middle East and to avoid conflict Marcos Sr. surrendered Bong Bong to the princess father. Only to be prosecuted and sentenced with death. Another claims the story was confirmed by a history professor. I've heard the same story and my professor in history confirmed it. Add on to this. It was said that the king asked Marcos Sr. to surrender his son so that there will be no war. For the love of the country it was said that Marcos Sr. made a choice by surrendering his son. Ro. What are we to do in the face of such overwhelming evidence that Bong Bong Marcos, the next president of the Philippines, is actually a clone and the real Bong Bong died in 1975 to prevent a war between an unnamed country and the Philippines. I mean it has to be true just like the golden age of the Philippines under Marcos is true because someone on the internet said so, right?